Hi everyone, just a, a little update to show what I've been working on. Uh, this is a small digitally controlled constant current load. Um, as you can see here there's a rotary encoder and a pick that's generating a PWM signal which is going to the op amp which is controlling a power Darlington. Um, and there's the uh, 10 10 R resistors that are is making the current shunt, the one one ohm current shunt. Um, so currently that, that they're 0 0.6 watt resistors, so it can do about six watts. So at five volts, I can almost I can do just over an amp. Um, so yeah. So anyway, you can see I've got my multimeter set up over here. The uh, fluke's reading the actual current, and my old crappy Metex is actually showing the uh, the voltage from the PWM signal. So if I down here for a second, and I grab hold of the knob, and I wind the wick up a little bit, you'll see it, for each indent I get uh, 0 0.2 to 0.3 um, milliamps, so the lowest at the moment is 8 milliamps, and then I can go 10, 12, 15, 17, and I can wind it up of course. So let's take it up to 100. Uh, as good as good as can get to 100. Um, yeah, so I can keep going. The actual rating there is actually because um, I'm in the amp socket. Um, I noticed the difference between the milliamp and the amp socket. Um, there is a bit of error in the amp socket on the fluke, um, but I don't want to risk blowing up my 400 milliamp. Uh, <laughs> fuse on the milliamp range because this thing can pull more than that um, so I'm leaving it in the amp range at the moment but uh, anyway I'll just keep winding it up I'm going up to 250 now my plan with this is actually to add a CDC USB um, serial control so that I can read the voltages and the current and also control it so I can set the current um, so typically I can run test patterns and stuff um, but mostly I'll probably end up using it just as a dummy load with a knob and a, a small LCD to show what it's doing um, let's, go, let's go to 500 uh, as I said at 5 volts uh, drawing an amp there we go 500 or as good as it can get to 500 um, yeah drawing about an amp the, uh, the 10 uh, 0.6 watt resistors start getting a little bit toasty. The power Darlington doesn't care. It's a 20 amp um, big bugger, so it could go a lot higher. So realistically, if I replaced the um, the 10 ohms with 22 ohms and put 22 of them, I could, uh, in theory, get you know, 12, you know, 15, 16 watts, um, which would give quite a good load. Um, the actual limit I've set at the moment for the voltage generation is 2.5 volts, so there theoretically it can pull 2.5 amps. But if I did that, I'd just blow <laughs> blow the resistors to kingdom come. Um, currently, it's coming off a 5 amp, 5 volt power supply, so it's got more than enough guts to do it. And I don't really want to toast my breadboard in my uh, 10 resistors at the moment, but um, which is the reason why I'm a bit sh um, careful with the the flukes uh, milliamp input because, as you can see, I'm already above 400 milliamps. Which, if I wanted, I can get it all up to an amp. So it's very accurate. I'm pretty pleased with it actually. I mean, two to three milliamp per indent is quite handy. I mean, if I was doing current loop and stuff like that or anything like that, I could really get quite good precise control. If I reduce the um, PWM voltage, of course, I get the resolution gets higher because the steps per volt is much lower. I mean, I could limit to one one volt output rather than the two and a half volt output, and then for the number of steps that I have, I get a bit more resolution, but as it stands at the moment, I think it's pretty good. I could probably make it switchable so that you can change it, the upper limit. Because um, I'm using um, I think it's 12 bit or 10 bit PWM. So, yeah. But anyway, um, that's it at an amp, which if I look down here now, yeah, I've got my ICD3 working under Linux now after a bit of hoo ha, thanks to one of the microchip dudes on the forums if he actually told me what was wrong um, so yeah yeah they're a bit warm not hot and the, the, the power
Dale Darlington is barely even warm. So yeah, so very handy little device. I'm gonna finish it up and build into a box. Should be quite useful. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll catch you later.